Hey, what's up, Frenzy Head Nation? Welcome back, Coach Cole with you, here, bringing in 2020 with a brand new episode of Sports Frenzy. That's right, we've been away for a couple weeks. Hope everybody had a great uh, Christmas and a great New Year's, and uh, we're back into action starting this week again. We got, uh, what, 98% of the bowl games in NCAA football under our belt, and uh, the final uh, college playoff game coming on Monday, I believe it is. Yes, Monday at 8 p.m. So yes, it's been an exciting, adventurous two weeks, and I hope everybody had a blessed and great break. I had a pretty good one. It wasn't too bad. Nothing too crazy, nothing too unusual. Uh, I wanted to give you a look at the uh, new setup for 2020, as this is kind of what we're going with for now. Um, I also post just a playing picture of it on our Facebook page. Uh, this looks, I, I think this is going to be at least my ongoing set, probably for the rest of the uh, of season 10's uh, episodes. We'll see what happens. Sometimes we switch it up and do something completely different. But again, uh, special shout out to uh, now retired Roger Schoonover for uh, gifting me the final uh, Porter basketball hoodie. Yeah, it's it, it not even close to being able to fit me. But he says, you know what, Coach Cole, I'd love to see you display that as a, a prop on the uh, sports frenzy walls. So now it is. A little bit of the Porter basketball history um, from the old days is now part of the Sports Frenzy set. So we thank you for that. Um, let's see, what else did we have to talk about? Anything new this week? Oh, uh, one thing new, you guys, for you guys to see. Yes, I have. I am drinking a lemonade for the first time that I haven't tried before, a new lemonade on the show for 2020. So one of my students drinks a lot of um, Kool-Aid drinks and, um, and the Capri Suns. Well, when I was younger, I loved Capri Suns. Guess what, folks? Capri Sun has a lemonade now. <laughs> yes, indeed. So I have am, am enjoying some uh, Capri Sun lemonades. It takes me back to memories of being a kid. Uh, you know, from the big drugs I drink, I probably go through quite a few of, the, few of these. Just on the show tonight alone. <laughs> Um, just a little, some other facts with 2020 being here. Same thing as, you know, 2019, really. Uh, we got Hope Hoopsters action going on. So, um, I've been blessed enough to be working with the Hoopsters this year in some capacity or form. Last several games I've been calling the game, so that's been really cool. Um, but yes, due to the fact that we do have a game on Thursday night, by the time most of you watches the video... Uh, the game will already have been played. Um, but I'm shooting our video on Wednesday night this week. So Wednesday night video, what that does is it uh, reflects basically our scores a little bit. It won't affect some of our games, especially our, our NFL football playoffs. But sometimes it does. it is affected by our college games and our basketball games. So some of them... Uh, some of the records might be off by one or two even, depending on... Because uh, a couple of games are played Thursday night, I think, that I was reading on when I originally posted these. So, just to let you know that, uh, the scores might be off just a fraction. And that's due to uh, the limitations I have of filming on a Wednesday night. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, with that being said, in case we have any new viewers, you can check out Sports Frenzy on our Facebook page. Um, if you're already a member, a friend can uh, have you join up on that. 
and then I approve you guys. Usually try to get it done within 24 hours. That's one way to follow us. We also have a Twitter feed, at Sports Frenzy 1. Um, Instagram is also at Sports Frenzy 1. Um, the YouTube page, if you just want to watch the video again or just want to watch this video period or any of the other Sports Frenzy videos, it's uh, Coach Co. Sports Frenzy 1. So that's the best way in uh, all the links we currently have for getting you on uh, to watch the show. And there are some weeks we go live on Facebook Live. Uh, this week we're not going live on Facebook just because it's a Wednesday night show. So that's why we're not doing the live full live version tonight. Okay, with that being said, enough rambling, enough house cleaning. One more sip of lemonade. And let's get started on this week's edition of Sports Frenzy. Season 10, episode 15. It's our first one of 2020. Woohoo! And it just so happens we are starting off, we still have football going on. We'll have more football going on throughout the season as well as we will be covering, um, I've already said we will cover XFL action, and there is the um, Indoor Football League, we'll be covering them, uh, I believe so too. Uh, basically, the uh, they're not on the sheets yet, they haven't started yet, but Indoor Football League uh, is Arena Football, it's just a, with a different named league as the original Arena Football League, uh, sadly, has gone under and they filed for bankruptcy. So they are officially done. But we are, what we are not done with yet is NFL football action. That's right. NFL action. Divisional round playoff action. And boy, oh boy, has there been a lot going on in the NFL. Uh, namely, the Patriots dynasty is over as the Patriots will not be in, be continuing on this year. So our first game in our divisional playoffs is the number six ranked uh, Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I have a neighbor down the road who's a huge Vikings fan, so I'm sure they're pretty excited about this. Minnesota Vikings, their current record, they have 10 wins and 6 losses. They are traveling to and playing against, and who would have thought we'd see the glory days coming back to San Francisco. Yes, San Francisco 49ers as a number one ranking. And they have 13 wins and 3 losses. I don't know, is anybody old enough to remember, some of you are old enough to remember, when the San Francisco 49ers were a huge team, big team back in the day. Um, anyway, this game kicks off at 4.30, and, uh, 4.30 on Saturday. This is a Saturday playoff game. 4.30, and you can watch it on CBS. Regular old CBS. Um, I like the San Francisco 49ers on this one. Just because, I mean, they're, they're not the, they'll never be the dynasty for, or the, the 49ers of old, or dynasty day 49ers. But, it looks like they're actually pretty good this year. All right. Our uh, next divisional playoff game for you guys is the other sixth ranked team. We have the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans have nine wins and seventeen, or I'm sorry, nine wins and seven losses. They are traveling to and playing against a number one seat, 
the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have 14 wins and two losses. Kickoff for this game is Saturday, 8 p.m. And that one's going to be on Fox. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna go with the. I'm not gonna sway off much from the uh, higher pick here. I'm gonna go Baltimore Ravens. All right, next up, we have uh, number fourth overall, the Houston Texans. They have 10 wins and six losses. They are traveling to and playing against one of my favorite overall teams. That's right, we're talking about the number two uh, the Andy Reid and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs have 12 wins and 4 losses. Kickoff for this game is on Sunday, 3 p.m. And you can watch that on CBS. Right, Sunday at 3 p.m. on CBS. And you guys know who I got. Excuse me. I'm calling it now. This is going to be my Super Bowl champions this year. Andy Reid and the Kansas City Chiefs. That is Coach Cole's Super Bowl pick as well. Kansas City Chiefs. Andy, Coach Andy Reid. It's about time he gets uh, what he deserves. And that is a championship with a team. All right, our last NFL football divisional playoff game. Number five, Seattle Seahawks. 11 wins and five losses. They are traveling to and playing against the number two pick, number two, the Green Bay Packers. The Cheeseheads. The Cheeseheads have thir er, 13 wins and 3 losses. Kickoff for this game is uh, 6 30 p.m. Shoot. Is that a Sunday game? I believe it is. It's going to be kind of a late game. Uh, 6.30 game on Fox, and that's on Sunday. Which means uh, the weekend wrap-up show might be either kind of late or we might have to shoot it on Monday because I didn't realize, uh, you know, when I was doing my stuff, didn't even realize that that was such a late game. Um, I absolutely hate the Green Bay Packers. So I'm going to go with the Seattle Seahawks for the win. Yeah, I am not a Packers fan at all. Go Seattle. All right, so that is your divisional playoff NFL action for this week. Um, and the only football games that we have on here. But don't fret. Like I said, we got some other football coming in. Be coming out before too long. And we have plenty of other sports to follow. And next up, we're going to be following some hockey action. Some NHL hockey action, to be exact. And our first game this week.
we have the 16 wins, 21 losses, 5 overtime losses, the Ottawa Senators. And they're on the road traveling to and playing against your 10 wins, 30 losses, and 3 overtime losses. We're talking about those D -d -d Detroit Red Wings. Uh, the puck drops for this game at 7.30 p.m. And you can, as always, watch it on FSD, which is Fox Sports Detroit, for those who don't know. Yes, they're horrible. Yes, they can't seem to win. But I still have the Detroit Red Wings. Go Red Wings! Uh, puck. I, I say that already. Yeah, puck drops for this game Friday at seven thirty. All right. Friday at seven thirty. Uh, our next game for you guys. We have the. Boston Bruins. The Bruins have 24 wins, 8 losses, and 11, 11 overtime losses? That can't be right. I bet that's one overtime loss. Sorry about that. That's a typo on my part. So we're going to say uh, 24 wins, 8 losses, and 1 overtime loss. Got to start checking my typos better. And they are on the road this week, traveling to and playing against the the New York Islanders. The Islanders have 25 wins, 12 losses, and three overtime losses. The puck drops for this game at 7 p.m., and if you have it, you can watch it on the NHL Network. Um, hmm. Well, being a Boston Celtics fan, I already support a team in Boston. Might as well support the Boston hockey team, too. I'm going to go Boston Bruins for the win. Oh, boy. It's that time of the night that you guys all love. We're talking about those. Those blues. Oh, we're talking about those St. Louis blues. Yeah, oh, I have to open up another pre sun. We're talking about, and we haven't sang about them in a while, we're talking about those sailors blues. Dun, 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 Oh, but first. Dun, 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 Oh, but first. Dun, 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 dun. We must forget their opponent. Dun, 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 dun. We're talking about those New York Rangers. Dun, 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 dun. Now the Rangers are not so bad. Dun, 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 dun. I said those Rangers aren't so bad. Dun, 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 dun. They have a 19 wins, 13 record loss. Dun, 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 dun. And four overtime losses too. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, they got four overtime losses too. Dun, 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 dun. And that's not too shabby of a record. Dun, 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 dun. But wait 
a minute. I said, oh, wait a minute. So I can put my straw into another Capri Sun. Okay, it almost gave me trouble. But now it's in. Now we're talking about those St. Louis Blues. Oh, did I mention those defending champs, the St. Louis Blues? They're looking really good. And maybe they could repeat too. They got 26 wins. <coughs> Excuse me. And only 10 losses too. But I see I have on the record here. They have seven overtime losses too. Wow, that's a big number for those overtime losses. So I hope I got that right. Because you never know with me. Well, the puck drops for this game. I said the puck drops for this game. Oh, the puck drops for this game Saturday night. It's a Saturday night game. It's on at 8 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. But there's just one problem. It's not a locally televised game. And that just makes me a little blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa, sneeze in there. Because you guys know who I got. I said. <coughs> Whoa. Whew, brought out a big sneeze on that one. I said, I know who, you guys know who I got. I got those St. Louis Blues. Wow. So, who would have thought I got to work to sneeze in on that one? Jeez. Uh, Capri Sun Lemonades. They're actually pretty good. I didn't talk about them yet. Uh, first time trying them. Uh, not as, probably because they're a kid's drink. Not as sweet as some of my other lemonades. <clears throat> Doesn't pack as much of a bite or a punch. But they're not bad either. I don't mind them. I like them. They're not bad. So, you know, Capri Sun. Capri Sun lemonades in the little pouches. Yeah, I know. They're little pouches. That's why I'll be drinking a ton of them tonight before the show is over with. But they're pretty good. I don't mind them. Not bad at all. Well done, Capri Sun, to put out a lemonade for Coach Co. <laughs> Okay, so you probably didn't put it out for Coach Cole, but doggone it, I like it. <laughs> all right. That's all our regular NHL hockey games we have for you guys. But we do have minor league hockey action as well. And uh, we are starting with the AHL, which is the American Hockey League. And that is our good old good old Grand Rapid Griffins. The Griffins, they have 14 wins, 19 losses, and two overtime losses. Ouch. Not a great season for the Griffins. And they are on the road this week. They are playing against the Manitoba Moose. The Moose, not great either. They have 18 wins and 19 losses. Uh, the puck drops for this game Friday night, 7 p.m. It's not a televised game, but we've talked about this in the past before. 
you can go to AHL TV and get a subscription on your computer or your, probably your smartphone, your tablet, uh, whatever you like to use. And they have like a pay-per-view type option. So what you do is you can pay for a, I think it's a one game, you can pay for a single game, or you can pay for a season pass, or you can pay for a league season pass, and that gets you access to all the AHL action and especially your Grand Rapid Griffin games. So if you have that if you have money and that kind of time on your hands, which I have neither, <laughs> then go ahead and sign up for it on their website and you can pay to watch these games. I for one am not giving up. We'll continue to support the Detroit Red Wings affiliated Grand Rapid Griffins. Um, that brings us up to more minor league hockey action. ECHL hockey, minor league hockey action to be exact. Uh, that would be the... Seventeen wins, sixteen losses, one overtime loss. The Indy Fuel, and they are traveling to and playing against your playing against your Toledo Walleye. The Walleye continue to be red hot. They are twenty wins. 10 losses, and 3 overtime losses. The puck drops for this game Friday night, 7 p.m. Not a televised game, but usually tickets are reasonably priced for families. You can go out and see this game, or you can also get, uh, it's uh, on the ECHL website, you can do, um, you can do, uh, you can do a pay-per-view on that. So, 